Long-time fans of the Assassin's Creed franchise are not strangers to constant killing and bloodshed. In every step of the way, we see loss of life in unprecedented proportions, and this unfortunately is one of the staples of the series. After all, when a game is named Assassin's Creed, there's bound to be a lot of assassinations. But even in a franchise full of death and slaughter, there are some acts that have left the players stunned and in a state of shock because of the sheer brutality. It's really rare that a man or woman crosses the boundaries of compassion and commits a deed that is so far away from what makes them human. But there are few cases as such that we get to witness in Assassin's Creed. Cruelty to a degree that disturbs the very soul of the person who witnesses it. We do have a portion of the crowd that is unfazed by extreme amounts of carnage and gore. You know people who can sit in a battlefield full of dead bodies and enjoy the bloody sandwich kinds. Nothing against them but I'm glad to say I'm not that much of a savage yet. But the question that surrounds us today is which acts in Assassin's Creed can be deemed as the cruelest. Now if you enjoy Assassin's Creed videos please subscribe to the channel and it'll be great if you leave a like it helps tremendously it's free it's easy support a brother from the creed and now let's get on with the list characters in gaming history are as loved as Ezio. A beloved Italian assassin has won the hearts of millions with his kindness, caring nature, playboy persona and also a deep-rooted sense of humanity which was clearly passed down to him by his father Giovanni. Which really makes it all the more shocking that Ezio at a few points in the trilogy has become so blinded with rage that he has committed atrocities that would make any man lose his sleep. One such incident I feel that doesn't seem as brutal and violent on the surface but is beyond comprehension. Especially for Ezio is when he pushed is Cesare off of the walls of the fort of Vienna in the final sequence of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Ezio, despite him killing, has remained as one of the more sane-headed held-back killers in the series. I mean, he's paired Rodrigo, the man that killed his father and his two brothers. But during this mission, it's as if Ezio had enough of the needless loss of life, Cesare's ambition causing mass destruction and the fighting. And Cesare really pushes Ezio to the dark side when he refuses to end it with dignity and quickly. Because Ezio is a seasoned killer by now, he does understand what a gruesome death it would be, falling hundreds of feet to a certain doom and dying in a body that's broken and mangled and yet he chose it. Now before anybody tells me, oh I push enemies off the roof all the time, in the comment section remember, it's not canon so that shit's on you. After I played Brotherhood recently, I began to realize that it's one damn dark and mature tale of a battle between dynasties. I honestly wasn't able to comprehend most of the stuff back then when I first played it in 2011. Think about it, incest, murder, slaughter, all for the sake of power. Sounds like some Game of Thrones levels of storytelling to me. And on that note, let's talk about Cesare killing Rodrigo. Because what most people often forget is that Rodrigo was his father. Essentially, Cesare murdered his father with his own hands in front of his sister who he was stuck in. That is dark even for me. It's not just the act of the murder itself, but the fact that Cesare had the violence in his heart needed to kill his own father. That stuff's not normal. Cesare, my friend, you got issues. I mean, who does that? And that even shocked Ezio if you remember. But that put across one thing very clearly. That Cesare was not gonna stop until the entirety of Italia was under his control. As a wise man once said, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Anybody that's ever lost a loved one, which is almost everyone, knows that it's a horrifying experience in itself. But in this case, Juno did the unthinkable and possessed Desmond via the bleeding effect, which was triggered when he touched the apple in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and made him kill Lucy who he in all likelihood loved, all while he watched helplessly from inside of his own body. That was as brutal as it was merciless. Many people still don't understand why that happened in the first place. In the Lost Archive, which is a part of Assassin's Creed Revelations, it's made clear that Lucy was a traitor. She joined the Templars as an assassin originally, but later on switched sides and was a disguised Templar who was then infiltrating the Assassin Brotherhood for Warren Vidic. Well, the Assassins and William Miles especially is to be blamed for this one, as his unapproachable and isolated nature, along with Lucy being cut off completely from the assassins for years when working with Vidic brought along the change of heart in her which made her loyalties dwindle. But no matter the reasons, it was a horrifying experience for Desmond to say the least as he not only felt helpless and powerless but he also came face to face with the truth about the Isus. They're not beings you want to mess around with. 
This is one of the most powerful scenes in the entire series. Bayek is in one of the most critically acclaimed and loved characters for no reason. I think after Ezio and Connor, Bayek would be the character that had the most philosophically triggering conversations with his victims when they are moments away from certain death. And in this scene, we see a crazed Bayek, angry beyond comprehension, when he finally gets his hands on one of the members of the Order of Ancients, Meduna Moon. And after some compelling verbal back and forth, Bayek is finally pushed over the edge by Meduna Moon when he says that he couldn't even save his own son and calls Bayek the father of nobody, implying that Hemu and his death were inconsequential. This makes the Egyptian go berserk and he smashes the evil oracle's head repeatedly with the apple of Eden until it's nothing but mashed potatoes. This scene still gives me goosebumps. The emotion, the visuals and a huge shout out to Abu Bakr Salim because his voice really filled Bayek with life. The sheer emotions he conveys through his voice are enough to give you chills. An extremely impactful and violent scene at the same time. And in Madan Moon's case, an apple that day kept him going the Duat's way. Well, that was a bad joke. Moving on. Another gut-wrenching scene from Origins, which really made me gasp in horror, which I'm sure most people can relate to. Yes, the death of Hemu. I'm not the softest man around. I can handle some violence from time to time, but the death of children is something that disturbs me more than I can express. But this scene was more than just a child dying. It was more than a brutal murder because this took cruelty to an unprecedented level. Flavius is probably the most evil man assassin's creed. His actions speak for themselves. I would have understood if he killed Bayek right then and there, which he most certainly could have. But no, Flavius chose to do the worst thing imaginable. He turned Bayek's blade and momentum towards Bayek's only son, Hemu, and made our Egyptian hero stab his own son to death. And in doing so, Flavius created the very monster that ended his life and nearly took down the Order of Ancients. I just cannot fathom what Bayek must have felt that day. The way he must have broken, it's beyond comprehension. And this act of cruelty will forever be the worst in my eyes. The worst. This one really makes no sense and reeks of stupidity all over. Because as I said before, Ezio has always been on the side of life, not death. Remember, despite the members of the Brotherhood being called as assassins, their singular solitary objective is to save lives, especially innocent ones. But what Ezio did in Cappadocia is just so not him. If you remember in the cave-like city that Ezio infiltrates in order to kill Palaya Logos and then finds a huge cache of weapons and gunpowder there, he then, out of character might I add, decides to set fire to said gunpowder to destroy it and the weapons together, but does it in the most reckless way imaginable. I mean, the creators could have made it perfect if they showed Ezio giving the innocent citizens of Cappadocia some warning, or maybe use his contacts there to inform people to get the hell out of there. But no, he suddenly, at the old age of 52, decides to go bananas and completes his objective at the cost of hundreds if not thousands of lives? What the hell? What were the creators thinking? Were they even? And I'm sure that even people who love Revelations and consider it to be the best in the series cannot stand by that level of stupidity. And the funniest thing is, right after this mission, when I got back to Constantinople, I ended up killing an innocent bystander, accidentally of course, and saw the whole your ancestors did not kill civilians warning. That was unquestionably my biggest Bruh. moment until today. Because that stunt in Cappadocia just felt so hypocritical on Ezio's part. I've always liked the character of Achilles. He seems like a genuine, understanding, a little harsh at times, but deeply caring man. And with all that being said, let's talk about the cruelest act in all of Assassin's Creed. Achilles downright ignoring repeated signs that they got when they disturbed the precursor sites and continuing to push the assassins to retrieve more and more artifacts. The ironic thing is, the two top ranks in this rather infamous list are held by assassins. Is that a pattern that we might be refusing to see? And his actions inadvertently caused loss of life Life on an enormous scale. Literally thousands lost their lives because of one man refusing to get over his pain and open his eyes and see what the hell is happening. Nobody, and I repeat, nobody on this planet can convince me that Achilles just didn't see what's happening because I'm convinced that he was in so much pain over the loss of his wife and son that he just didn't care. And that's why Achilles holds the unflattering number one position in the list of the cruelest acts we have ever witnessed in Assassin's Creed. And with that, we reach the end of the video, guys. Tell me in the comment section below what what you think was the cruelest act in the entirety of Assassin's Creed. Was it one amongst the seven or is it something else entirely because there's a plethora of those? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this video, like it. Well, that's it for today as always, stay safe, stay strong and stay tuned. It's your boy VZX, signing out.